Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 604 of Prography. And today I'm talking about Cloud About Mercury by David Torn, which is his second studio album. Um, crikey, this, this, this is an old one, uh, released uh, 1987, I believe. Did it say that on the thing? Can't, can't see. It was recorded in 86, but... Um, and yeah, David Torn, I don't know if you're familiar with his work, but if he's good enough to work with David Bowie on his last two albums, he must be he must be a corker. He's a, he's a, he's a, I'd call him an experimental guitarist. Some put him in the category of jazz. Like this record is jazz, they say it's jazz. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's more it's got it's more to it than that. You know, it's more to it than that. And yeah, it's one of those. Again, I think it's a really important album if you're into the into the the prog. Even though it's even though it's on the ECM ECM label, and ECM's very famous for its for its jazz. Um, I think it's quite a really. I think yeah. I'm gonna. I'm, God damn it! I'm gonna say it's a very important. It's a very important record if you if you like the progs. Why so? Well, not only is there David Torn on here, and he does. Um, some very interesting playing with the guitar. Again, he's a, he's more of a, a textural textural player, you know. Likes texture and tunes, but it's you know he's very very interesting, very interesting. He's I still think he's one of the great interesting players out there. Um, again, if you go on the YouTube, he did a, I think it was a TED talk, and he did us some improvisations, and you know. I go. Oh God, I wish I was. Like, I could do that. I wish I could improvise like that. But um, yeah. So anyway. So he's a great guitarist. He's played with lots of different people, and this is his second solo. But why should it be interesting to you? He says, pointing dramatically, like Lord Kitchener. Um, because uh, Bill Bruford and Tony Levin appear on it. They're his rhythm section. And you could see this. I mean, if you like Bruford Levin upper extremities, I know some of you out there like it, and I really like it. You could see this. He says, "There's a bit of shine on that. A bit, bit of shine on that." No, on the CD. Um, you could see this as a prequel, as a prequel to to um, those albums. Though instead of Mark Isham, Mark Isham went off and joined Scientology and has a career in soundtracks now, but we don't talk about that. Funny that, a lot of people in the in the movie industry, Scientologists, funny isn't it? Yeah? Know what I'm saying? Do you think Tom Cruise and John Travolta would be as popular if, if they weren't Scientologists? It's almost like it's a cult. Um, and they re replaced him with Chris Botty. But anyway, back to this. Okay, I find it very, again, because I, I like this record, because <laughs> I like this record a lot. I find it very hard to talk about it in a critical way because let's face it, it's five stars, okay? It's a five star album. I'm not going to fuck about. It's five stars. That's five networks of sparks out of five. That's five network of sparks out of five. Um, and so, yeah, you, you hear a lot of the groundwork for Bruford Levin, Upper Extremities. And again, some of this stuff is, again, texturally, it seeps into uh, King Crimson and, 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 and stuff like that. And oh god, I, oh, where, where do I go with this? Because again, it's an instrumental record. Some of it is experimental, some of it is jazzy, some of it is eth ethnic or ethnocentric. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, you've got a great track called Three Minutes of Pure Entertainment," which lasts lasts for seven minutes. That's or seven minutes five seconds. That is the level of the record. You know. Um, But it's again, it's one of those records I put on, and I disappear into it, and that's why I find it very difficult to talk about. You know, it's like you know the Cobalt Blues of this world and Night Songs. I just disappear into the record, and all I can say is go and listen to it. If you've not heard it, and you like this kind of thing, again, if you want Mellotrons and wizards and dragons and capes, you're not going to like it. But if you want, you know. That kind of weird experimental on the fringes kind of stuff. This is this is your one. This is your one. Um, and how did I get turned on to it? I got turned on to it because it's mentioned in Bruford's Masterstrokes um, CD. 
uh, in the discography, in the discography part, he says, completely failing to review the record. I think this must be the oldest CD in my collection. Um, again, see in the discography. Uh, yeah, see the last one there. You can't see it because I haven't got. Can't zoom in on this camera because my lens. But it says the very last entry says Cloud About Mercury, Dave, David Torn. So, <clears throat> so there you go. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to check that out. Like I checked out all the other entries, like Patrick Mraz. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute, there's one here I've never noticed before. The Kira in 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 Inui, Inui, Tokyo installation. I've, I've, I've never. I'll have to go and. I've never noticed that before. I've not been paying attention. Um, so yeah, that's how I got turned on to this. Um, and it is again, it's a really, it's a really cool record. You've got, like I say, the trumpet from Mike Isham. Mike Isham, I think, also worked on. Uh, did he work with David Sylvian? I'm thinking David Sylvian. Um, so you got that kind of trumpet sound going on. Trapman stick from Levin, of course, and Brill Bruford playing Simmons drums and percussion and everything. So if that doesn't get you juiced up, if that doesn't get you, you know, your, your, your heart beating fast, then I don't know what else I can do for you. But of course, because this, because this is an, it's an obscure, it's one of those obscure ones, no one's going to watch this. <laughs> no one. And I'm just pissing in the wind, as usual, casting my pearls before the swine. But I get a lot from this. I do really do get a lot, a lot from this record. Um, again, it really is like a trilogy with the Bruford Levin Upper Extremities. If you count the album and the live album as two entries, good companions. Good companions. They sit nicely together. Um, so yeah, that's it. I've talked about Cloud About Mercury, and I've probably again I can't really describe the music because it's. It's fluid. It moves. It's it's all over the place. It's exciting. It's interesting. You know, I get a lot from it. You know, it, it's it's one of those nourishing records where you put it on. You go, oh, all right, I like that bit. And you know, but I couldn't. You couldn't. If even if you held a gun to my head, I couldn't describe it in any way, shape, or form. It sounds like I've never listened to it, <laughs> but I know I really enjoy it. Um, damn, that was a terrible review. That was awful. Um, but yeah, do give it a try. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I've been talking about <clears throat> David Torn's Cloud About Mercury from 1987, though it was recorded in March 1986. Uh, I think this one was out in this one was out in 86 as well. That's interesting. This is rather out in 1986, but it mentions Cloud About Mercury, but it didn't come out until the following year. Oh, spooky stuff. Spooky. Spooky. So yeah, that's that. Don't forget, don't forget. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the blurb because I don't do the blurb that often, and no one's gonna be watching this, so it doesn't really matter. But it makes me feel like I'm. You know. Don't forget to like or dislike this this video because it's engagement. I want to get engaged to you. Engage the, the Google engagement machine. It's important for this channel and me to survive in the in the ocean of detritus that is YouTube. Digital detritus. I need you to engage with me. I need to be engaged. I need you to like or dislike this video or comment. Leave a comment. Have you heard this record? How would you describe it? What do you think of David Torn? Um, do you think do you think David Torn should be in King Crimson instead of Rock for it? Oh, there you go. That's a good one. That's a, that's a starting point, isn't it? Because um, I, I do think he's he's better um, in terms of texture. You know, he, he moves in different areas. Um, And also, oh god, don't forget social media. Though Facebook's disappearing up its own arsehole. So but I'm on the Twitter. Twitter's good. That's where I post the nudes. Remember. Um, and then there's the Patreon, Patreon.com/lock. If you want to throw some shekels into the hat, you know, because I'm a terrible e-beggar, you know. And of course, there's music.darrenlock.com where you can go and listen to the terrible music that I've made over the years. I've terrorised the internet with these abysmal tunes. Uh, and that's that. I think I've got everything covered. But yeah, do go and check it out. Cloud About Mercury, David Torn. Very important record for me. And I think you'll like it. And that's that. There's only one more thing left to say. And that is prog on.